sleeper. When my mother died, I was very young, and my father sold me, while yet my tongue could scarcely cry, weep, 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 so your chimneys I sweep, and in soot I sleep. So we have at the beginning of the chimney sweeper a very bleak picture painted, and in fact in this list that I've got here, um, Blake did reorder the poem sometimes, but in, in the one that's most established, this is really the first poem that is quite miserable in the Songs of Innocence. And you wonder why actually it is here. Um, and you have to read to the very end to kind of get it, but this, is, this beginning is much more like the sorts of poems you find in the book, the Songs of Experience. Notice the incredibly powerful use of repetition. We've spoken about repetition of words um, with the introduction to the Songs of Innocence. Um, but here, uh, the four um, stresses on weep, 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 weep uh, are very effective, creating the feeling and rhythm of uh, tears dropping on the ground. There's little Tom Dacre, who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was shaved. So I said, hush Tom, never mind it, for when your head's bare, you know that the soot cannot spoil your white hair. Um, now we have a picture of the different characters who are chimney sweepers. Um, he, this poem is sort of almost social commentary, isn't it? The previous poems have led us into a world of, that's almost a paradise, isn't it? The echoing green, the introduction, the shepherd, uh, blossom, all paint a kind of world of uh, people living in the natural world and living a, an almost perfect life. This is the total opposite, isn't it? We've got the poor little child who's got hair like a lamb's back. Remember the image of a lamb, very important in poems, the lamb suggesting Jesus Christ. Um, and uh, the poet is comforting the lamb here, um, the, the young boy Tom Dacre, um, saying that, you know, when your hair's shaved, um, it's okay. Uh, you know, nothing will uh, spoil your hair. The soot won't spoil your hair. And so he was quiet, and that very night, as Tom was sleeping, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. And by came an angel who had a bright key, and he opened the coffins and set them all free. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing they run, and wash in a river and shine in the sun. So Tom has this dream um, and we're now in Tom's head having been in the um, head of the original chimney sweeper who's comforting Tom we're now entering the world uh, uh, the dream world of Tom who sees these thousands of sweepers Dick, Joe, Ned and Jack um, and they, they, they're released from their coffins and they go leaping down a green plain, um, a green valley. Again, remember that sort of evokes previous imagery in the Songs of Innocence uh, where we've seen, you know, beautiful kind of natural world like in the Echo in Green um, and they're there in a kind of dream world. Um, they're naked and white, all their bags left behind. They rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom if he'd been a good boy, he'd, he'd have God for his father and never want joy. Um, uh, so the angel t talks to Tom and says, you know, uh, if, you, if, you, if you've been a good boy, then you'll always live in paradise because God will be your father. And so Tom woke and we rose in the dark and got with our bags and our brushes to work. Though the morning was cold, Tom was happy and warm. So if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. Um, so Tom wakes up comforted by the dream. 
and gets his bags and brushes to work and even though it's miserable, it's cold, the morning is cold, he's happy and warm um, and because he knows if he does his duty by God he will always be okay, he will never fear harm, he will always be fine. Um, one wonders though here about what Blake's definition of innocence is. Is the child um, innocent in a sort of naive way? Um, is he uh, the, the, the story that he'll go on to a better life if he does what he's told? Is that um, is he being lied to that? Is that form of innocence um, a, a form of innocence which actually possibly later on when we look at um, the songs of experience Blake criticises I'm thinking particularly of the, the um, Garden of Love where Blake points out how the rules and regulations of um, religion sort of almost destroy um, the happiness and paradise um, that children can live in. Um, so the, the poem is quite troubling and it has a companion piece in the Songs of Experience which is even worse, isn't it? Um, because it's a picture of uh, a child labour, child slave labour. Um, but this is not good either, is it? Uh, so many questions raised by this poem, The Chimney Sweeper, um, questioning about what, what innocence is, and certainly though uh, we have a picture of a child being innocent, don't we? Poor Tom and the actual person speaking the poem are innocent children put in a extremely diff difficult situation by the society they live in. They seem to escape through their dreams, don't they? And escape through their belief in God. They seem to find um, a saviour they seem to find um, a better way of life by believing in God.